Hello, and welcome to Art Vids for Kids. My name is Janine, and I am a museum guide at the Dayton Art Institute. In this video, we will be discussing an artwork called Shimmering Madness, created by the artist Sandy Skokland in 1998. I'll be asking you questions throughout the video, so if you would like, please pause the video now and grab a pencil and paper so you can write down your answers. Shimmering Madness is a special type of artwork called an installation. It is called this because the artwork's objects are installed, or placed carefully inside of a specific room. The room or space is usually just as important as the artwork inside of it. Installation artists either use objects already created, or they might make new objects themselves. Then, the artist arranges all their objects to fit into a space or room. This is different from a painting that hangs on a wall or a sculpture that might sit on a pedestal. Let's use our close looking skills to examine Shimmering Madness. I want you to really look. Let your eyes wander around and see what you can find. Pause the video and write down five different things you see. What kinds of things did you write down? This work of art uses a variety of objects, which means it is made from mixed media. What materials or objects can you find? Was one of your answers jelly beans? I hope so. Miss Skoklin has said she likes to work with food because it is a familiar material. What food would you choose to use if you were to create this piece? I can think of a few. Skittles, M&Ms, or sweet tarts? Notice the colors of the jelly beans. Are they bright or dull? One of my favorite things about Shimmery Madness are the vivid colors. She uses the bright orange, yellow, green, and red of the jelly beans to make the art pop out at us. Is there a pattern to the jelly beans or does it seem random? Why do you think she chose jelly beans? Sometimes with their art, artists are telling a story, sharing an experience, or sending a message. Other times, they are simply creating something they think will be beautiful or thought-provoking for viewers. Recently, Miss Skokland, the artist, spoke with the museum and shared some thoughts about Shimmering Madness. In her words, I don't really see a story. The palette of colors is represented by strange materials that are taken out of context. I see the overall impact as sensory overload. As for those two dancing figures, they are also made from jelly beans. They almost appear to blend into the floor. I noticed something very odd about them, though. Did you? Their heads are facing one way and their bodies the other. What do you think about this? Do you find it weird or cool? Let's not forget about the background. What do you notice about the walls in the back? They are covered in beautiful, colorful butterflies. These butterflies are special because at certain times their wings flutter. But don't worry, they never fly away. As a lifelong artist, Miss Skoklin knew she wanted to create art as far back as she could remember and takes great pleasure in the process. In her words, it's in the physical making of the ideas that I find meaning and purpose. Between the multicolored jelly beans, the butterflies, and the dancing figures, I think this artwork is just so much fun to look at and think about. I hope you agree too. If you would like to see Shimmering Madness in person, you can find it in the Lang Family Experience Center, Gallery 124, on your next visit to the Dayton Art Institute. Thanks for watching, and I hope you visit the museum soon.